1959 AMT Corvette 2-in-1 kit coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? All right, gang, it's Trevor Selescu from Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And do you just want to jump in one of these great sports cars and get away from the huge Cadillacs and El Caminos and everything else? Well, now's your chance. This is another one of those oldie moldies because it's now reboxed as a 60 Corvette. This is a 59 special box. So what I'm going to do now is go down to our bench and we're going to open up this red rocket. Okay, let's open up the lid on this vintage kit from 1986. This is a 1959 AMT Ertl Corvette. I do believe this has been rebranded as a 1960 because there wasn't really any change between the two. 1958 had ribs on the hood and extra chrome spears on the trunk lid, but 59 and 60, they removed those. Uh, and then 61 has the duck bill rear back to it. But at any rate, this is actually branded as a 59 and it's a two in one, so you can build it as stock or custom. Quite a cool kit, an oldie moldy from my collection. Nobody else can have it but me. Ha ha ha. Anyway, uh, so here's the instructions. And these are quite typical of the old days, although they do give you some colors to put in. So, like for instance, D is white, and they show it going into the side spear there. It's not a no write up on the car on here. And this one comes with a fuel injected motor. That was the mechanical fuel injection setup for 1959. It was also, yeah, I'm trying to remember when it came in. But at any rate, there is the hubcaps. Oh, 1957 is when it came in for the first time. That's right. So you can see it's one big underpan. Not much detail there. The engine hooks in and then the wheels go in. And they have these little little keyways here that glue in. That is for your axle height. So if you go in the bottom, you're in the stock raised uh, wheel height. And if you go in the top, you are in the lowered section of it. Now you can see that the interior is actually very simple. It's just a bucket, two seat belts, a gear shift, a steering wheel with column attached, and a bar glues up under in here, and then your dashboard and everything drops in. Very simple firewall and battery. And then your interior and everything pops up in there, and the front goes on. It's quite a simplistic kit. Oh, here's the racing parts. So there's a hood scoop there. And this blanks out the passenger side, so it's just driver's seat is visible. Or you could also add in these headrests with the little chrome roll bars so quite a few little cool features to it so let's see how the plastic from 1986 looks now first off you can tell this is an old kit because the plastic bag feels really thin and lightweight almost like it's made out of saran wrap hmm yeah i think i'll cut the plastic on this why not yolo uh, uh, uh. Okay. Now I've wrecked the sanctity of an original kit. No. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's just move this over to the side and take a look at the pieces individually, starting with the body. Now, this is quite quite crisp, actually, for the vintage. There's only one reservation I have. <laughs> it's molded in red plastic, which is okay if you're going to paint this thing red or black. But if you're painting it white, you're going to end up with a pink car. And unfortunately, I need to paint this white because I made a series of Corvettes. I was going to try to do... It was for the 50th anniversary of Corvette, and I was going to paint a whole series of Corvettes white with the red interior, the polo white with the red interior, and variations of it. 
and uh, this is going to be very difficult to do that with because it's molded in red. However, you can see that even though there's not that many parts, there is some good detail on here, like all these wires going to a central point and then peeling off up there. Uh, keep in mind the real car is fiberglass, so it needs to be grounded with the wires. There's those headrests, kind of like Star Trek or something, the hood scoop, a bunch of other cool components. It does have some good detail considering it's pretty, uh, pretty lightweight, simple kit. There's the interior. I'm gonna have to try to paint that all as one piece. And there's our front end and rear end. And of course the wheels, simple five bolt pattern on there. And some extended wheel backs for the other style of tires. These are actually plastic axles which I'm going to replace with some metal ones. Nice detail underneath here though. I mean, quite crisp. It's got the molded in exhaust and all the cross braces and everything. Made in the USA. <laughs> Proudly emblazed in, emboldened into the bottom. There's our dashboard. Still good detail, even though quite simple. The battery. Okay, now here is, uh, here's one of the custom pieces. That's the blank out panel for the interior, which would go like that. So then you've got the one driver in there. That's for the sports version of this thing. I don't think I'll take the chrome out of the plastic bag, but there are the nice, uh, slot style mag wheels for the custom and it's got stock hubcaps molded on there and the grill and lake pipes for your custom and there's the intake for the fuel injection and of course your quad headlights and we got our windshield here and of course, we have four of these. These are the good old Goodyear Polyglass GT tires that came with many, many an early AMT kit. And, oh, they actually do have metal axles in here. So that's always good. And that brings us to the conclusion of this good old 1986 edition 59 Corvette by AMT Ertl. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of another great old Lost Classic AMT kit. It's not really that Lost because it's been reboxed as a 60, but still, it says 59 on the box. 59, you'll feel fine. And what you know what else will make you feel fine? Checking out what other model kits we actually have that you can buy, that I can ship to you anywhere on planet Earth. <laughs> And that would be the great website of www.monster-hobbies.ca. And check out there, click on model cars, and enjoy. If you would like to subscribe to this channel because you like our videos, click here. If you want to see three other great videos, click here, here, and there. And don't forget to always shoulder check when you're going to pass. And until next time, we will see you on Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box?